Ladies and gentlemen, this is Internet Personality Evangelist, and if there's one thing I'm terrible at, it's keeping track of all the different versions of the original Double Rider suits. This is SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider 1, in his Shin Ichigo color scheme, which was the first release of the character in Figure Arts, and features his silver gloves and boots. The original and Sakurajima versions are out there as well, and I don't think I'm gonna track them down, but man, I could use a spreadsheet right now. This guy, along with the other original Seven Riders, was in a development hell for a good long time, and for good reason. Even though the sculpt's from 2011, I think it still looks pretty slick today in 2015. It certainly has a few gappy spots that are crying out for some Shinkocho Seho action, but I really like the slim shoulder line and the trim athletic Kaizo Ningen torso. The belt's a properly retro piece of cyborg machinery, and also helps hide the midriff articulation with some sculpting to replicate Takeshi's untucked cyborg jacket. Is he a bit too skinny overall? Maybe a touch, but something about this still works for me. The helmet sculpt looks really strong, and a well-rendered version of this timeless mask is always a welcome sight. It's got lots of metallic paint and deep crimson fig arts compound eyes, which act as a culmination of sorts of all the shiny silver running up and down the sides of Rider 1's suit. The original Kamen of Kamen Rider is on a ball joint, uh, and then it's also on a ball joint at the base of the neck, so there are two axes of motion. So you can do all kinds of talking down to the youngsters of the era. His ascot also can uh, swivel around, but hey, what if you don't want this, like, somewhat calmly billowing ascot? Guess what? Pops off its ball joint, you can stick on this one, and this is a much more billowy twin ascot! The wind's really caught up in there, so he's, you know, moving. Uh, his shoulders are, uh, they are fig art style, but they're very specific fig art style. They're a whole lot like Shinken Red's shoulders, so the bicep swivel is in there, and it kind of works, but in order to preserve uh, the sculpt of his tracksuit, they attempted to hide it up in the shoulder area, and it, it, I think this works better than I recall Shinken Red's bicep swivel working, but it is uh, a bit of a hassle to get him to get his, you know, his hands fully together and touch, and you have to get his shoulders all the way up for that. Uh, as for his elbows, they are double-jointed, real tightly. He's got Fig Art's wrists, so they swivel around, and they can uh, hinge like this, or you can move the hinge and swivel the wrist there, and then they can hinge like that, as you do. His torso joint, uh, some could argue this really messes with his sculpt, but I like how they did this, uh, especially for the era in which he was made. Like, there's clearly a cut going on here, but, like, look how deep this is. Like, look at the range on that. I dig that a lot, like, in tandem with the, uh, the waist ball joint, which also has a lot of rotational ovulation, like, he can, he can bend back like this, he can bend forward like this, feels good. I also just ripped his leg off, because I was not being careful, but I stuck it back on, so everything's okay. His belt is a, uh, separate piece of sculpting that is, uh, including the bottom of his, uh, tracksuit jacket, and it just sort of moves around, uh, decently with whatever's going on. I haven't found it really getting weird or, like, you know, sideways or crooked. His hips are Fig Arts hips. They do that. They are on ball sockets so they can kick real high. I keep ripping this one off. I don't know what's going on. I must not be very careful. Is there... I think I shock oiled this, and the shock oil was still wet. Holy crap. I shock oiled that hip, like, two years ago. Uh... <laughs> anyway... He's got thigh swivels, uh, he's got double jointed knees, uh, which I think work pretty well, like the silver stripe gets broken up a bit, but how on, on earth were they going to keep it preserved in like a U shape around there? I don't see a way as other than like, even if they painted the kneecap piece, I don't think there's a way that would have really, really turned out all that well. Uh, I, I like the way that it, it still flows down here. He's got uh, foot cuts, um, whoop, I just ripped his foot off as well. Don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, he's got foot cuts because they're attached via ball socket joints. As you can plainly see, <laughs> which uh, allows them a little bit of tilt. Not a whole ton, not like a hinge level of tilt, but, you know, a decent amount of tilt. And then there is, uh, you know, a bit of toe tapping and then a straight up toe joint. For those of you who like to toe. So, he's pretty good as far as SH Fig Arts go. Uh, I know that, you know, in 2015, this figure has occasionally come under a bit of, of uh, scrutiny for being kind of old-timey, but I don't know, I, I still feel like this this turned out pretty well. Like, maybe he's a bit thin and stuff, and uh, I could go for a redesign of the shoulders, but I certainly haven't found him...
to be horrifically limited. I still feel like he can do what he's got to do. He can stand there and, and, and yell stop. He can punch a fool. He can... I mean, he can ride or kick. He invented the rider kick. He can ride or kick. I just, like, I don't know what happened here, but <laughs> there you go. Whoa! Like, dude can do his business. So, you know, I, I feel satisfied with this. Would I be against a renewal of this figure in 2015 with, like, you know, the, the, the technology that they got now in fig arts? Absolutely not. Like, like do it. I'll, I'll replace this guy, sure. I've had him for a good couple of years. But, you know, if you, if you can get a hold of one of these for a decent price, I think he stands the test of time pretty well. Takeshi Hongo ain't a fancy man, and his hand swap options keep things pretty simple. He's got fists for rider punching. He's got outstretched finger hands for rider chopping. He's got open and relaxed hands for rider gesturing. And he's got grippy hands for rider gripping! What can he grip? A shocker grunts eagle-headed sword, that's what. Or, you know, motorcycle handlebars. But the sword comes with this release in the box. It's a simple accessory, sculpted and painted pretty well, and all ready to be thrown at some animal cyborg's face. The Rider Kick is the original Bugman finishing maneuver, and New Rider 1 includes a big flashy effects part to give it some extra pizzazz. This thing sticks onto Takeshi's right shoe, and looks kind of weirdly icy due to its plastic colors. I think I'd have preferred some extra impacty stuff around the sole of the boot, personally, but it looks alright. Just like there's a, I don't know, a visual kaboom missing from the end. Finally, there's a dedicated chopping style right hand, but with the thumb sculpted in a particularly different position, entirely for the sake of the pose that sends chills down the spines of the wicked and fills the hearts of mankind with hope and justice. The major issues to talk about with this guy several years later is that he looks a little too short and a little too slim alongside some of the more modern main riders in SH Fig Arts. Now, is he simply too skinny, full stop? I don't think so, though I admit I also still like the weird wiry proportions of the original Kabuto Fig Arts releases. I think Rider 1 just feels like someone dragged the diagonal resize box in the wrong direction by a few pixels, if that sort of thing actually worked in real life. He looks fine on his own, it's just when he's standing right next to some of the more recent Fig Arts releases that he starts to look like a bit of an aged piece. But hey, he's a very well-featured box of Fig Arts Common Rider, and plenty fun to pose and play with. His Shinkenger bicep non-swivels are an outdated pain in the butt, to be sure, but I still find him to be a satisfying part of my collection. I just don't entirely know what to do about the rest of the Rider 1 family, between the other two solo releases and the slightly different version of this that came with a bike because the solo bike is also slightly different and... and... spreadsheets. I need spreadsheets. Anyway, this has been Internet Personality Evangelist, and I keep talking about those Shin Kochoseho renewal releases. Except, I keep talking about them in videos that aren't about them. Maybe I should make a video about them for once. I mean, hopefully more than once. There are a couple of them out now. I'm trying to say I'm going to look at Renewal Kabuto next!